Investing is not just for high tech companies. It's a mindset and a tool that inspires entrepreneurship and mentorship. Beyond Capital offers highly curated, immersive funding and mentorship to mission-driven entrepreneurs that provide much needed goods and services to people living at the bottom of the socioeconomic pyramid in India and East Africa. In the very early days, we had a vision of wanting to behave like a venture capital fund and find and nurture uh, the best entrepreneurs who were doing good for the world. There are four billion people living on less than four dollars a day. And those individuals have a budget. It's a small one, but they have a budget to spend on health care and clean water and the other areas that we are investing in, basically their, their own basic needs. And so we established the organization with the mission of improving the lives of people under the poverty line by funding early stage social enterprises uh, and really helping them grow and scale through mentoring and what we call Beyond Capital support. What we tried to do at Beyond Capital from uh, eight, nine years ago when we were established was to innovate and innovate in a way uh, so as we can maximize the impact of that one dollar or ten dollars or a hundred dollars which one of our supporters gives to us. The, the potential flaw in the traditional philanthropy model of uh, giving uh, funds away or giving resources or giving services to people is that when that money runs out the resource or the service or the goods are no longer available to the people who need them. When we did some more research we realized that there were a number of organizations out there already doing what's called impact investing and investing in social enterprises. However, none of them were focusing on the early stages of companies. None of them were investing in startups. It's more than just capital. It's more than just an investment. It's more than just money to us uh, and to the entrepreneur. Uh, what we're looking to get back is more than just a return. You don't necessarily need to sacrifice those financial returns in order to also have a social impact. And so in my role in what Beyond Capital does, then this is something that we really take to heart and is really an integral part of our mission and how we think about our investments. It has to be making an impact. As when we say an impact, it has to be something which is inclusive. Uh, it is adding value to people who do not otherwise have access to something. So whether it's a company which is in solar power where we are trying to reach to uh, villages in India where there is no electricity or we are providing healthcare services to, to villages where they don't have access to, to good quality doctors. What Beyond Capital Fund has done is it, it, it's leveraging a talent resource, which is really the, the um, uh, due diligence activities that it has. It's taking a business model approach in terms of understanding sustainability and if, if it's worthwhile to make an investment. And then it's applying it to parts of the world where it really needs it. We had started with uh, India and have now moved into East Africa and it's direct. And the returns should be there, so there should be a business case, but it's not the main driving force. Let's just say most development efforts around the world are targeting a much higher level of society. So most development efforts from the international sort of development finance institutions, from foundations, from the large private equity or even later stage venture capital funds do not look at this segment of the population. They're investing for more commercial means and the money that trickles down from, from their investments doesn't reach that, that sort of bottom of the pyramid consumer until much further down the road. So we have a five-step investment process which includes sourcing, screening, analysis, kind of deeper dive due diligence, and the deal structuring. In implementing this process, we are basically taking a funnel of many companies, hundreds of them, and narrowing it down to four to five investments a year. We will mentor the business. We will attract pro bono resources of the highest quality um, lawyers, financial advisors, and other professionals, um, which an entrepreneur who is at that stage 
of their business life cycle wouldn't have access to by, by means of either their budget or, or even uh, just their network. The mentoring part is really key because the entrepreneur is oftentimes really alone. I mean, it happens in all the businesses, but social business is far more that, you know, there is somebody who is who's as invested as them, not in terms of money, but actually committed to what is the impact that they're making. A lot of people ask me what is the differentiator between a Beyond Capital Fund and other um, investors, and I'd say that what I've always liked about Beyond Capital Fund is they've worked as a partner and not necessarily as an investor. So our donors are really drawn to the fact that we are investment-minded and that we do a tremendous amount of due diligence and have a rigor that is embedded in our investment process. They like that seasoned investment professionals are deciding where the money goes. The larger vision is really to create companies that have a social mission, to inculcate the viewpoint that a company can do good and make money at the same time. And at the fund level, we really endeavor to recycle the returns to the point where one day we don't need to raise capital any longer.